Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another Layer by Layer. Today we're taking a look at another cool, fun, and really easy project. This one's straight from Becky Stern. She had this pretty cool idea. She's got this drone hat. She's got embroilment on it. It says drones. And she figured, hey, why not print out uh, the like a custom name tag for your hat in NinjaFlex. So this is printed in NinjaFlex. It's really flexible. You can print all sorts of different names for your hat. It doesn't have to be a hat. It could be maybe your book bag or something. Here's a cool open source one. It says Floss. You could even make a cool like custom name one with your logo. So that's really fun. And this is a cool opportunity to show you guys the text tool in 123D. I hardly use the text tool in 123D and it's really fun and easy to use. So um, it's right up here in 123D. It's, it's a little T and we're gonna go ahead and make this project real quick. So I'll start off by making a primitive and this is going to act as the sort of base to keep the letters together. So I'm just gonna you're definitely gonna to wanna to measure your hat. I measured it about right here. So this is 100 mil by 30 mil, and then we'll make it a height of one. So we'll just enter it like that. Now, the next thing I'll do is I'll come up here and click on the text tool. And the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna sort of ask you to place it down on, an, on a surface. So if you're trying to put text on something, this works really well. So I'm gonna put it on top here and just click on the top surface. And then the next thing it's gonna tell you to do is to uh, click on a position. So if you look at the grid, it's actually snapping to the little triangles here. So um, the way it works is it typically, um, the text is, at, uh, is anchored to the bottom. So when I click on there, uh, that's where it is. You got this little, um, little uh, handle that you can rotate the text if you want. And this is really where you want to play with. Um, this is like all our attributes. So this is where you type in the text. So I guess in this one, I'll put 3D print. And then you can change the font here. This doesn't seem to work too well with uh, fonts that aren't like built into the uh, to the OS. So I think only open fonts are going to work, not true type. So you're going to want to pick uh, something that uh, that works well. So here I got Arial. And the next thing you want to do is change the height. Now the height is uh, is pretty much like the font size. So you're going to want to play with this until you get uh, the size that fits in your uh, in your sort of. Uh, platform or base. So I'm thinking third 21 is pretty good. And then the angle is already at 90. So hit OK. And the, t the text isn't extruded yet. It's still an editable, um, an editable sketch, really. And this is where you can edit it here. So if you wanted to change it up, you can do that like that. And that's nice. And one thing you'll notice is that there isn't a way to do, um, there isn't a way to sort of do kerning or letting. So what you want to do is if you wanted to do that, you would come up here and click on explode. And what that's going to do is that's going to turn it into um, individual sketches so you can move them ind independently from each other. Actually, no, you can't. I thought you could, but I guess you can't. What you would have to do is extrude each one out and then, and then move that. Um, so when I did that, it seemed to have merged it. So you don't want to do that if you want to move it. You want to put new solid, or actually put new solid after you extrude it, because it tends to, to default to the merge thing. So here we go, new solid, and then we can move it around. So that's how you would do that. But in this particular case, we're going to stick with, uh, with just the default. And I'll make it bold again. So you definitely want to move it in the right spot. So we can click on Move Text, and then we can move it around like that. So I'll try to put it in the center or at least as close as the center. Next thing I'll do is I'll uh, select it and then we can extrude it. So I'll just come up here, click on extrude text, and then I'll type in five mil. Seems to work pretty well. This is five mil here. We'll leave it on merge just because we want it to be already merged. And that's pretty much it for the most part. Um, one thing you'll need to do is add these little tabs on the side. Like I was talking about, these are the little tabs um, that, that I've used to uh, keep the hat in together. Uh, it's a lot like a pull tab with the little uh, little edges here. And what I did is I just used the safety pen to keep it in place. Um, I, we were going to cut a slit and then insert it in that way, but you don't really need to do that. You can just do that with a safety pen, or you can sew it in if you want a more permanent um, solution thing. So the next thing I'll do is I'll make that little tab, and I'm just going to use primitives to make it. So I'll come up here to the corner, and I'll make it 2 by 4 and then I'll make it one height. So that's the little uh, extension end. And then I need to make the little T shape. So make another box, come up here, put in six, and then two, and then we'll put uh, one. 
hit enter. And then I'll just move them into place. So I'll select it, hit command T, and then just move it like that. There we go. Next thing I'll do is I'll merge the two together. There we have a little T shape. And then one last thing I'll do is I'll hit E on my keyboard and then click on these edges to apply a fillet so that it's a little smooth. So maybe like one, like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna duplicate it on this side. So to do that, I will do my little trick here where I, where I use a polyline sketch. So I'll click in the center here on the Y and then I'll select that, go up here to pattern, mirror, select that as my mirror plate or plane and then hit enter, and that's our two little parts there. Now another thing I'll do is, I don't like these sharp edges, so I'll click on E on my keyboard again, press E on the keyboard, and then select the edges I want to apply a fillet to. That way I have a nice uh, rounded edges all the way around. There's that one there, I'll put five. That seems to work really well. It's a nice big round corner. And that's pretty much it. Um, Again, you can, you can uh, manipulate and edit the sketch if you wanted to change it up. And this is pretty much a solid, oh yeah, I have to merge it first. So just merge those two together. And now you have your, uh, your, your custom name tag thing. This is really fun and easy. Uh, I can't believe how easy it is. It's, it's really, really fun. This is a great use of Ninja Flex too. But this doesn't have to be um, you know, for a hat. It can be for anything like a shirt or your pants, or a book bag, or anything you can think of. It's really fun and easy. You really don't know how cool it is until you actually print it and do it. So uh, that's using the text tool in 123D. It's really easy to use. Uh, we did it in like a couple minutes. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think in the comments below, what you would make with it, what we should make with it, maybe some cool, funny ideas or something. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked it. Again, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.